Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy and welcome to the Dota 2 Counter Picking Guides. This is where we look at a specific hero and see who they counter, but also who counters them. Faceless Void in general counters heroes with low armor that you can beat to death while in Chronosphere, or heroes that require actions in order to stay alive, like Lifestealer. Equally, he's countered by area interrupts such as Naga Sirens, Ultimate Song of the Siren, and indeed repositioning heroes. So as you can see here, three main heroes. He's got action dependent heroes. Necrophos needs to spam loads of spells in order to be effective. Low armor heroes, it makes complete sense. He can just rip straight through them with his uh, high attack while in Chronosphere. And stealth heroes, um, seeing as Chronosphere reveals stealth, any stealth hero that's silly enough to get close enough could get trapped in Chronosphere and killed. So here's Shadow Fiend, and look. A couple of hits and he dies. Anybody with low armor that, that uh, doesn't do too well with physical damage will struggle. And here's Bounty Hunter trying to try and do a sneaky kill here. He gets trapped in the Chronosphere while in Viz, gets revealed, and then get beaten to death. Now, a lot of people want to know what counters Faces Void, so here you have it. So there's area interrupt like Naga Siren or, in fact, Omni Knight's ultimate ability prevents physical damage or helps resist physical damage. So that's a great interrupt. Repositioning like Pudge's Hook or Venger's Swap. And of course, Silence. Silence will completely ruin Faceless because he can't really do anything without his ultimate. So this here is a good example of repositioning. Venger's Spirit is going to come along, swap him out, and interrupt his attack. And then when he tries to run off, she'll stun him and try and beat him up. Um, equally, Doom is uh, the perk counts everybody, but a good example. Faceless Void is pretty spell dependent in some ways. He can't use his ultimate, he can't escape, so if you silence him for a persistent period with his low armor and health, he'll die. So remember that when you're in lane, what you want to do is more or less just save your chronosphere for that uh, last resort situation and focus on farming up. And make sure you try and take out anybody that's weak enough that you think you can kill. In a team fight, the main thing is try to actually trap anybody that can interrupt you, like Naga Siren or anybody else, to stop them from shutting you down. If when you take out their initiator, you'll do well. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and share it. If you'd like more videos of the same content or maybe something a bit different, please follow the video links below.